And of course, you can change some of these variables and array elements and then do your own comparisons as well. So I just wanted to show you this, how to compare two arrays. Next, I'm going to use the cloning method in Java, right? So let's begin. Let me go ahead and create a new class, in fact. So right click. Let's click on new and then click class. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. And let's go ahead and call this array clone. Click finish. Perfect. I'm going to get rid of the public for now. It's just a class. Starting off with just a class. And then, of course, I need to import my java.util.arrayList. Perfect. And then place a semicolon. All right. So once I have the class called array clone, next I'm going to go ahead and do the public static void main and of course our string with our command line arguments, if any, and then open the curly braces. Great. Let's go ahead and define our array list and this is going to be string type and I'm going to call it let's say a1 equals new array list and of course the same string type in this instance as well and then a semicolon so in this basically example or program we have an array list of string type and we're cloning it to another array list using the clone method. So that's the objective of this program that we're writing. The interesting point that you need to note here as I write the program is that when we added and removed a few elements or when we actually do this, I'm going to show you this, you'll notice that the original array list after the clone method and the cloned array list didn't get affected at all. So it shows that the clone method just simply returns a shallow copy, right? So it's just going to do a copy of the array list. All right, let's move forward. Let me place a comment and I'm going to say adding elements to the array list. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead, do a1.add. And I'm going to go ahead and let's say since it's a string, I need to open the quotations. I'm going to say just some names, right? So I'm going to say names of some cities. So let's say New York. And close my quotations, semicolon. Let's go ahead and copy this several times so I don't have to type it. So just paste it however many times you like. So maybe one more time. Perfect. So let's go ahead and change the names. So I'm going to say Chicago as my next city. And then let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do Austin, for example. And let's do Los Angeles. Make sure I spell the word correctly. And let's do one more, maybe New Jersey. Great. So once I've added the elements, I'm going to go ahead and do the system printout. So let's go ahead and system dot out dot print in and what am I printing the array list plus the a1 that's what I'm gonna do so let's go ahead and do array list array list and then colon and then also concatenate this with let's say plus a1 perfect Next, I'm going to go ahead and do array list for my string type. And then let's say a12, for example, or a12 equals my array list. Same string type that I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to clone it at this point, right? So I'm going to clone it to a one dot clone method. So it's dot clone. And then, of course, set of parentheses. That's all. So 
once I've cloned it, let's go ahead and do system dot out dot print in. And at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and say shallow copy of array list colon with a space and then concatenate this for example with my a12 or a12 next I'm going to go ahead and add and remove on original array list on top so let me first put a comment here quick let's go ahead and do add and remove on original array list so let's go ahead and do a1 for example dot add so here I'm going to change let's say instead of New York for my a1 I'm going to say I don't know it could be any city I'm just thinking here let's do Miami for example and a semicolon and I'm going to remove one too so let's go ahead and add or instead of add I'm going to say remove in fact so what am I removing let's say I'm going to remove Chicago and then a semicolon okay so just to show you so let's fix the syntax here let's just add perfect once I'm done with this I'm going to go ahead and display the both array lists that is after add and remove okay so that's the idea so let's go up here and then enter some spaces let me scroll down perfect so right after we've added and removed an array element next let me place a comment so I'm going to say display both array lists that is add and remove right great so let's go ahead and do a system dot out dot print in and this instance I'm going to go ahead and say original array list and this original a list is my a1 okay so let's go ahead and do a colon with a space quotations and then concatenate this with a1 same thing with a2 so system dot out dot print in and here I'm gonna say cloned array list with a colon space quotations and of course use the plus sign for a12 or a12 great perfect so let's see what the word of caution is type safety unchecked cast from object to array string which is fine so let me go ahead and save this for now so what we did here was simply added elements to an array list and then we cloned it we also added and removed a couple of elements from the original array list on top and then finally display the array lists so let's run it see what happens and perfect so we get our output as let me make it bigger here we go so we get the array list as New York Chicago Austin Los Angeles and New Jersey shallow copy perfect same thing and of course the original array list contained New York Austin Los Angeles New Jersey and Miami and then our cloned array list so a very perfect way of working with and cloning objects in Java. So for example, now one thing I want to mention before I end this lesson is that we did get a little warning, right, that I saw earlier, but we continued with our code. So what this is basically is we need to put up a suppress warning, right, because that's why it's telling us that it's type safety, unchecked cast from object to array, array list. So what we need to do is simply write a warning message or the suppress warning. So what that does is, and we've done this before, but just to reiterate, so Java, for example, we can disable the compilation warnings relative to 
let's say the subset of a compilation unit using the java.lang or dot suppress warning annotation so that's exactly what we're going to do so without the annotation for example as in this case we don't have the annotation the compiler would complain that the local variable for example is never used so that's the only part here okay since we never really reference the local variable directly it just says well it's not there but the code is correct so to add a suppress warning would tell the compiler to never mind okay so this will enable to keep warnings in other locations of the same compilation unit or the same project okay so that's all that does so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use the at sign to suppress the warnings so let's scroll down and just add and again we've done this before so let's do at suppress warnings and I'm going to say unchecked okay and this will remove the warning part great let's save it if you want to run it again that's fine you'll get the same results in any case so practice using the object cloning in Java it's a great way to understand how we can clone objects so with this let's move to the next lesson